Hi everyone, this is Survival Gear here, and today, I'm here to tell you how to survive a bear attack. If you go for a hike in the forest, bears shouldn't be your biggest concern. They don't normally attack people for no apparent reason, not unless they are starving or you get too close to one of their cubs. But if you do meet a bear who's mad at you about the intrusion, what should you do? Should you run for your life, pretend to be dead, or attack it before it attacks you? Most people are surprised to see a bear, and the ensuing interactions are often rife with misunderstanding. Nonetheless, in the event that you are forced into an encounter with a bear, you'll want to be prepared. Here's a rundown on how to survive a bear attack, including specific tips for grizzly bears, black bears, and polar bears. Brown bears Brown bears, aka grizzly bears, are the most widespread bear species in the world, found across much of Eurasia and northwestern North America. They're generally bigger and more aggressive than black bears, but color alone isn't a reliable way to tell them apart. Conflicts with grizzly bears have been rising in the U.S., due partly to growing grizzly and human populations and partly to food shortages that some scientists blame on global warming. But climate change may also expand grizzly's range possibly even into polar bear habitat. If you encounter a brown bear, keep these tips in mind. Always carry bear spray. This is a must-have in grizzly country, preferably in a holster or front pocket since you'll have just a few seconds to fire. Bear spray can actually be more useful than a gun for grizzlies, since one or two bullets may not stop a full-grown adult quickly enough. Don't be stealthy. If you think bears are in the area, talk, sing, or make other noises to let them know you're there too, without surprising them. If you see a bear that doesn't see you, don't disturb it. Don't be a tease. Unattended food and trash are surefire bear magnets, even if they're tied up. Try to produce minimal waste when camping or hiking, and secure all food and trash carefully. Bears can also be lured by dogs, so it may be wise to leave pets at home. Don't run. If you do meet a grizzly, stand tall, stay calm, and slowly reach for your bear spray. Don't worry if the bear stands up. That usually just means it's curious. Back away slowly if you can, still ready to spray. If the bear follows you, stop and stand your ground. Aim and spray. The best distance to spray a charging bear is about 40 to 50 feet. The idea is to create a wall of pepper spray between you and the bear. Hit the dirt. If the bear keeps charging, fall down and lace your fingers over the back of your neck to protect it. Guard your stomach by lying flat on the ground or by assuming a fetal position, with knees tucked under your chin. Don't move. Play dead. Even if the bear starts to attack, it's likely trying to neutralize you as a threat. And since you'll never outrun or overpower it, faking death is your best bet at this point. Even if it walks away, don't get up. Grizzlies are known to linger and make sure you're dead, so stay down for at least 20 minutes. Box its nose or eyes. This could feasibly thwart a grizzly attack, but only fight back as a last resort. Playing dead is the preferred strategy with grizzlies. If you can get free though, Back away slowly. Still don't run. Ultimately, the best way to survive is to avoid an encounter in the first place. Fortunately for you, most bears will retreat before you even know they are there. If you encounter any of the aforementioned animals, keep your cool, remember these tips, and stay alive.